Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Tom. So you all may have noticed I have done a recent channel rebrand on my channel. The problem with my channel before is it wasn't focused, it wasn't niche down. So what I've done is I've niched down my channel, focused it into financial freedom from a view of Gen Z. Now, you all may ask, Gen Z, what's that? And I'm gonna get into that, but I'm personally a Gen Zer. In college last semester, I did a project about what is Gen Z consuming? Are they reading? What are they looking at on their phones? What apps are they using? What medias are they using? And I did that and I found it very interesting. Now, in business we call this demographics and demographics are so important to know because you have to know your target audience. You have to know their trends, what they like, what they do, and things like that. And I found it, well, don't know what Gen Z is and what they do and what they're looking for because it's so new to everyone. So, what is Gen Z? I don't know why I said that weird. Forbes classifies Gen Z between the ranges of the years of 1995 through 2010. Now, the ranges kind of differ between which websites you look at and which articles you look at, but I'd say the average is about 1997 through 2010. Some important details about Gen Z is Gen Z didn't really experience 9-11. What I mean by that is they were either too young to know what really happened or they weren't born yet. And that's completely different to the other generations, such as the millennials, Gen Y, baby boomers. They all remember 9-11 and they all witnessed it. But in a way, Gen Z is post 9-11. So they've kind of seen the world after 9-11 and been raised through it compared to before it. You all might laugh at this, but Gen Z is raised with YouTube since 2005. You know, I remember when I first saw YouTube, I would go on it on the, my dad's computer downstairs and my parents would be like, don't go on YouTube. You don't know what's on there and everything. And I'd always kind of sneak on there and, and look and see what's happening. And I realized that no one knew at the time what it could be. And now today it's going to take over television. No one's watching television compared to YouTube right now because it's on your phone. Yeah, you can watch YouTube on TV, but every, whatever's going to be on your phone in the next few years is going to dominate compared to the television problem or cable. And that's why I'm trying to urge so many people to get on YouTube because you're basically doing your own TV show for free. Yes, for free. And then the last final detail, the most important one, Gen Z was raised with the 2008 financial crisis or the Great Recession, whatever you want to call it as. This impacted them a lot. And you may think, oh, they're so young. Why does this impact them? That's a good question. It was their parents, it was their friends, it was their family, their older friends that were impacted and they either had to move. Like for me, my dad couldn't find a job here in 2008 and we had to move to Chattanooga. And that caused a lot of problems because we had to scale back on a lot of things. And I know I wasn't the only one. I know a lot of people who had their parents laid off or they had to scale back because the economy was so bad. And that has influenced a lot of the Gen Z's views today. Compared to the millennials, Gen Z is pretty much different compared to them. People say, oh, Gen Z is the next millennials or millennials part two, but not really. They're two, the two were raised in completely different times. Yes, they were both raised with the internet, but the millennials were raised with the internet to where it was so new, it wasn't perfected. And today, like I've been raised with platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, things like that compared to the millennials, which, which is just basic internet. It's gone. A step farther and technology has advanced so much within the past 10 years that they're just different. What I've noticed about Gen Z is they're financially more conservative compared to the Millennials. The Millennials would take on a lot of student loan debt to go to school and I think with Gen Z being raised through the financial crisis of 2008 they have figured out that money is a key factor. If they can't afford to go to college they won't especially with how fast technology is going with robots coming in, it's maybe not a good idea to go to college for certain jobs because they'll just be phased out by robots. And the, the student loan debt crisis right now with colleges, Gen Z is aware of it and they're willing to go to community colleges or not go to school if they don't need to just because of the student loan debt. And I'm personally one of those people that I just don't want to go to school if I'm going to take on the student loan debt. Guys, I'm going to make a couple videos in the future about millennials compared to Gen Z and and things like that because I find them really enjoyable but this video is more of just a background information about what is Gen Z and who are they and what's caused them to believe what they believe today. I want this channel to be like a common place where Gen Zers can come on this channel and listen to fi financial education or personal finance and I'm basically documenting 
how I became financially free with this channel. You know, most people on YouTube right now are actually Gen Zers. And I, I find that interesting that no one's trying to, to attract them in or target them. And that's what I'm doing. So if you're interested about gaining financial freedom, which I want to make another video about that, then stay tuned. Guys, if you enjoyed this week's video, give it a like for me. I really appreciate that. And uh, I just want to thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.